absolutely the most insane thing I've ever seen. Real tight seal, but they're still rolling. Nothing else is going to go wrong. Now well, before they get on the motor, we can push this over. How's that side looking over there? I can't really see. I can't get to that one like you got over there. I think we got a chance. You hear that? I think we got a chance. I bought me a new sleeping bag and a new tent for my next hiking adventure. Hello. Hey, are you on uh, 79? Yeah, I'm 1.8 miles away from this. Store. Okay, when when you when you take your rides, you can get over in the parking lot. We're gonna go check out this road. I didn't realize they got a, such a flood down here last night, but yeah. uh, we we're about to go check it out, and we'll meet you back here. But anyway, you're you're are you heading south? I think I am. Yeah, yeah. Uh, That's seventy-nine. What... I'm on seventy-nine. I'm fixing to turn one point two miles away yeah. from wherever this score is. Yeah, yeah, you coming up, you'll be going to come back to a single lane where they had some road damage right there. You'll come back from that double, you'll come back from that four lane to a single lane, and right on top of that hill, you'll make a right. Okay. All right. So just sit there and wait? Yeah, just sit there and wait. All right, we'll sit here a little bit. All right, let's go check it out. Is that them? Uh, maybe. They got some mud on the tires. There you go. They said they got a lot of rain down here last night. I just didn't. And well, I didn't know the man that plowed up around the fields like he did. I'm Wiley Chauffeur. Wiley Chauffeur. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be slick. It, it's got a hard pan whether it's that deep down there or not because they pulled logs out of there for months. But anyway, it ain't far up there. Is that the only film that we found this one too? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now, there ain't no way that piece coming back in here. This is the part that he was talking about. They have plowed right here. You believe that? Yeah, I ain't even trying it. Brakes not what you saying that won't roll free. You think that skitter will pull that through there? I'm gonna get the brakes. Oh, free. yeah, okay. I'm gonna get turned around. Yeah, should I try to back it Do like a really, I'm gonna do like a 97 point rear turn here. Uh, that's absolutely the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. That road was just like that right there. Yeah, it was good. Ram doing it in four low, huh? With street tires. One minute, 37 seconds later. This is a disaster, right? You see this get stuck. You see Wiley over there, you know. We, we've got a game plan now where we've got a skitter that will pull out the skitter, but we got to back the brakes off the, the broke skitter, right? Yeah. yeah. So we're at the parts house. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get the parts to release the brakes on the broke skitter. We'll actually use a, another skitter. It's got a cutter on it. Is that what I heard him say? Well, he's, he had a cutter too. He said he might bring both of them. He's logging a mile from there. Yeah, he's only logging a mile from there. So he'll bring it out of the wood, or he'll bring it to the, the broke skitter, and we'll carry the broke skitter to the truck, the tractor trailer, versus taking the tractor trailer to the broke skitter. And, uh, I mean, the, the, the truck's just not going to get down there. As soon as we pulled down there, the driver was like, I'm not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Smart man. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to run in there, 
get the parts to uh, back the brakes off, and then we'll get uh, we'll get back down there, and hopefully that skitter's waiting on us when we get back down there. It's thundering now. It's thundering now. Yeah, the rain's coming, so we better hurry up. About a three feet piece of hose. Okay. I'm just trying to rig up something I can pump the brakes off a of logging skitter with. I need one side to be an eight on the female flat face over there. Uh -huh. And the other one I just need it where I can take an atom out and screw it in for a rocking hot freeze through it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you need a flat face. Female or male? Female. Okay. Uh, what size? Eight. That's a half inch. Six, seven, 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 six, seven, seven, eight, three eighths hose. Like this on this side right here, I would just need something then I could reduce that down and put an alamite in there. I could put tube grease through and run through here and release those parking brakes. Oh yeah. The machine's dead. Male on one side, female on the other. Well, uh -oh. So, because the alamite's going to screw, it will be female, right? Did with this one if that was wrong. But that would be long enough. I don't even know where it come from either. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody might have cut it short or something. That's all I need. And then right here is where you got something like this. If I could come back and then screw up where I could get an alamite fitting in there. Just just something to make. Pipe thread. If you got something where just a little pipe thread, we could. Yeah, but how, I mean, how big do you need one? Well, we just want The grease fitting would determine that. Right? Yeah. We just want to get it a small grease alamite in there. Like that will go there. Mm -hmm. And then rig up a, a, something to go there and screw that alamite in there. And I'm just going to put the brakes off. It would be... Where you take them out, you know, and then you'll have a female and then a male. Right, but i got to have that fit to go into the machine. Uh, I mean, this is way too big, but this is something like I was talking about putting on there with a the grease out of my could fit in this one. Okay. That's what I was talking about. Okay. Do it. Might be able to do it with the brass. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Why did you guys say fat? Why can't you just say it <laughs> vertically wide? <laughs> uh, I don't know that standard or metric, by the way. I just pulled it out of the. Yeah, that's the, that's the biggest one I could find, so. Yeah. All right. What do you think of that? I think that's. Think that'll work? I think that'll work. Something like that. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, I still don't know where that thing is. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody might have made an error. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. I think so. I think we're making progress. I wish I had one of the machines at my house. Or on the back of my truck. How many mobile hydraulic line makers make? No. What does it matter if you're making money or not as long as you're having fun? That's right. Listen, we YouTube don't we? You're here, <laughs> here, this place right here, profit don't matter. <laughs> Listen, we're not exactly these. Uh, we're not exactly a uh, model business model. You know, yeah. the ideal business model. <laughs> All I had to do was tell him, wait, don't come till we see what this yeah. range is going to be. There you go, look at that. Mm -hmm. Make that a work. If it don't, right. we'll have to come back. Right? <laughs> all right. Let's get back down here and see what happens. I got a pole barn project coming up. Make sure you turn your notification bell on for that.
This is a little compressor you're talking about, Karen? Yeah, the one up there, yeah. Yeah, I just gotta make sure it, it's got I guess the, it's it. to unplug it. <laughs> Technique on Uh, so we need to make sure we got the. So this ain't got no fittings on so. I've got, actually I've got, I've got, we just got to make sure that we've got the right uh, air chuck. Why do they call it air chuck? Why do they call it that air charles or something? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, uh, I don't know what to do. I don't have another air hose, you know? Unless we take the one off the service truck. Well, I can't do that. Yeah, I'd say that's... Uh... You wrap it in t uh, tape? What you thinking? But I need a female. Let me see that, what you got in your hand. This? Yeah. That don't fit in there. Oh, that's going to go in there, right? Right. And this is going to go to the, the air chuck. Air chuck. To the air charles. I'll tell you what, let's do this, plug this thing in, just see how Oh, just see, let's see how it works. Yeah, that's yeah, good idea. Yeah. This one? Yeah. It's just two double-sided. It might be, oh, I'm wondering if there's, I'm wondering if there's uh, like a dirt dock that goes in that nasty here. Where's your Christian, Richard? I carry them back. I mean, what, what, are, you, what are we doing? Yeah. Well, you know, it's going to work good. I'm just making sure it ain't leaking. It's leaking, it's leaking. <laughs> Yeah. We had long enough stitch cord, you can just leave it here. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like somebody farting in some skinny jeans. You'll see a bubble run. Yeah. All right. All we can do is try. All right. for last, didn't we? Ready? Hang on. I don't think I'll get it that high. I think you can put your end up there. We're working. Working our way off. Yeah. The cameraman had to come save the day. And 
and I'm working my way back to you, babe. You earned those Neecock crackers just then, cameraman. A pack of vanilla for you. All right. All right, I got the hose. Grease gun. Grease gun. I thought you said you had one. Well, I'm just kidding. You got a battery power one. You ain't getting that one. <laughs> Why don't you bring it back? Well, you're going to be out there when I'm greasing it up. That's all right. Just bring the, uh, just bring the cube. Okay, so the plan is we're going to take that air compressor down there and my white Ram 2500 with the generator, put air in the tire of the skidder and back the brakes off and then the other, the, the 648 that they're bringing will pull that skidder out of there. Nothing else is going to go wrong. Or the Ram will pull it out once. <laughs> Got a winch on it. Got a winch on it. It, man. Could have just right in here. Yeah, I know. Hey, I do want to mention you saw us put the generator in there. We actually have a portable generator company that's sending us a Blue Eddy uh, generator. That you that that video that we're going to put that Blue Eddy generator in probably will come out before this one. And so you think, well, wait a minute, didn't he get a portable generator? Why is he toting this gas powered one? Well, we haven't got that portable generator yet. So I think we're going to get it in the mail maybe today or sometime this week. Then we'll make the video on that portable generator. But until then, we got uh, this gas powered. So if I would have had the blue gener the blue Eddy generator, then we could have easily brought that with us. I didn't want to confuse you because sometimes we film. We don't film in sequence is what I'm telling you. You take that tarp off and use that tarp. I'll start on the tires, uh, Wiley. They're in the muddiest place. That's right. There. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where's that um, the pipe wrench at, Wiley? I put it in my in the back of my uh, full board of the truck. And back seat of the truck on the floorboard. I don't know if you can see it or not here, but right here is, is the parking brake I'm trying to. I'm taking off this line there. Got a visual of that right here. The lights on it now. Anyway, that's what we're working against. It looks like we've got the right size, which would be another number eight. Yeah, I brought the service truck down here to start with, and it's just too heavy. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't happening. And uh, I knew. I should, I knew. I thought. Well, there was something about the last time I did it. And now I remember, I said, if I ever do this again, I'm going to get a 90 degree instead of this because you had to bend it. But maybe, Dustin, if they hadn't applied that road, it would already been gone. Yeah, that field. I hate that. I didn't know nothing about my I, I didn't either. I would have. I, I, I told the operator, I told the owner the, the, that bought it, I said, we can get it any time. I mean, it's, a, it's sandy and. Yeah. He hauled 100 loads of wood out of here and the worst spot was right there. Just before you get here. Yeah. But it sounds like I hear him coming maybe. We, we drag it out the other way over there and take that truck on up the road. And get it right on the highway. You got any secrets to getting these things off here? BFH, don't you? I know, I sure do. 
Now, y'all can't use all that army tech around. What? A BS8. A BF8? <laughs> yeah, that's a, a big hammer. Oh. <sighs> well, by golly. <laughs> I think I got it. The brakes? I think I got it started. I think it ain't the end of the world if we don't get air in it. Okay. It just would be a lot easier to pull. Well, I, I just worry about this big gas in the back of it. Well, that ain't gonna hurt it because it was holding air when they parked it. It just. Oh, well, that ran when parked. <laughs> I don't know about that. But... Have you seen a video on this thing? No. That, that thing's been out. 15 Water. gallons of water, man. Oh, no. Oh. I appreciate it. You have that dragon. You, you got that there. We got a couple short turns, but it's gonna it's gonna crash you. I think we get these brakes off. I think I think we got a chance. You hear that? I think we got a chance. It went uh, a lot faster than I thought.
enter a skitter recovery in the rain. <laughs> come through that mud and two-wheel drive I, I put my lights on instead of my two four-wheel driving gear so that's why we were spinning around a little bit hey, look at that it's just a greasy mess but hey that actually went on a lot easier than I have fought them uh, the hose was right it was smaller I could get it and after you held your tongue just right and had your eyes looking the right way it, it went right on I wish we could catch him so y'all could, could see it he's going to turn up here and go down the power line when he's getting her done it's nice when you have that nice equipment like that he's just going to pull it all the way out to the highway Great in the guy's road for him. <laughs> We're not going out the same way we came in. He's got a way that he can go that cuts through the power line, I think he said. So, you know, I guess we are. It's possible too that those brakes would leak off. Uh, just a little bit of the not real tight and sealed, but they're still rolling. There you go. <laughs> See you on the other side. Driving in sand like that, you just gotta let the, the ruts take you. You just gotta send it. All right, we're home free now. We're on the hard top, or not the black top, but the hard pan, I guess you'd say. He's gonna come out right at these power lines. I think they went this way to the power line. If it's shorter. Where, they, where Hank is? No, right here in the power line. Yeah, pull here and back in? Pull it back there and get out. I, I'm, I'm going to get it. I know we can.
<laughs> How about wow. you, driver? Oh. You were such negative Nancy about this the whole time. I know it. I know it. I know it. I'm talking about put it right on it. Son is going to be a uh, YouTube superstar with me here in a couple of years.
well. What we might do, go ahead and run a chain around that axle. Get it to put a little blade on where it tighten it up, and then we get that off and just kind of hold it. Uh, you know what I mean? I got one right here.
better, right? Maybe. He's driving it, leave him alone, let him go. <laughs> Sat down there so long. Yeah. My, I broke the throttle cable on it. That's what caused the whole thing. The throttle cable. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all got a pin or push it, man. How's he gonna tie that up? I, I'm gonna let him stretch it out like he wants to. I can't get to that one like he got over there. Yeah. You don't want to cut storm wood, that's one thing.
All right. Thank y'all for watching. Of course, Hank had to cut out. Can you believe there's another Hamilton about to hit this world? Y'all come back next time. Thank you.